Hey everyone, Thornton Smash here, and today we have some good news, because Respawn and Apex Legends are finally going to be releasing some new content and bringing back some old content, but in a new way. It's all pretty exciting. We're going to go over the leaks, rumors, and the latest information about everything coming up. We're also going to go ahead and give out some exotic shards. All you guys got to do is like, comment, subscribe, and you're entered for a chance to win. But without further ado, let's talk about what's coming in Apex Legends next. So we are finally nearing the time when we're going to be getting our collection events in Apex Legends. In fact, the next one should be around June 25th, and it does appear it's going to be the Void Knight event. However, there's some pretty cool stuff with the Void Knight event. Now, in case you didn't know, we do have a Valhalla Discord where we go ahead and have a bunch of data miners and leakers where we go ahead and share information between each other, but then we also answer questions if you guys ever have any about them. You guys can go ahead and swing by and join if you want to see stuff before I actually put it in a video, and the link is down in the description. But the other day, Ritz King, one of the notable data miners who's in the Discord, shared this image right here, which is going to be a Void Knight Hollow Spray. Now, you can see a better image of it right here. It's an epic one. Yes, that's right. We still have epic hollow sprays. I don't know really why that's a thing. But what's interesting about this is that it does appear to be a dummy dressed in knight armor standing on top of some death boxes. And it simply says the word checkmate. Now, while we were discussing the content on Discord and going over internal leaks and information, Ritz says it looks like it's going to be an event similar to Dummy's Big Day. And then I believe Voltanic, Titan, or Pwnhub, one of the two that are also in the Discord, mentioned that they heard that Dummy's Big Day also seems to be returning. So that seems to be something we can be expecting. At least last that everyone else had heard. Now, in case you don't know what Dummy's Big Day was, it was part of the Grand Sporey arcade event, which was one of the best events we've ever actually had in Apex Legends. Every two days, there was a new rotating LTM. They had Gold Rush duos where all squads contain two players. All weapons are fully kitted weapons and care package weapons. Live, die, live, where dead squad mates automatically respawn when the ring closes and begins a new round. Third person mode, which is my personal favorite mode of all time. Always be closing where the ring never stops moving. Armed and dangerous on world's edge, which is just shotgun snipers. Kings Canyon after dark please bring that back and of course dummies big days where everyone plays as dummies and there are random abilities now this one we are theorizing is going to be quite a bit different but overall that actually gets me really excited especially because it looks like with content in the future of apex they're going to be bringing in a lot more ltms because they're moving away from battle royale you might have noticed that last month we had the control takeover where may 31st to june 3rd you could play control whenever you want and right now they're doing the exact same thing with mixtape gun run modes where from june 11th to june 18th you can play gun run whenever you want honestly this is a little bit of an an interesting tactic and i'm not sure 100 percent why they're doing it hey everyone novel here though didn't ask me to just quickly fill in a small little piece of information for you guys something really exciting that we can be looking forward to on june 25th which was actually confirmed by euro is actually quads it's not going to be coming next season it's actually going to be coming in a week and a half or so and this actually confirms one thing the void weapon ltm is actually for the void knights event anyway Back to the video. Ranked is also going to be a temporary mode where they now have playlist takeovers with Rumble ranked. In fact, they're doing this a lot more. As you might have noticed, when we got solos mode, they actually removed duos, and it's because they stated duos was less popular and the point of splitting up the dwindling number of players would mean increasing time for everyone to start a new match so the decision is quite logical moreover duos and joyers often play trios simply because the match started faster so when they bring this stuff in they're going to be doing a lot of playlist takeovers and i don't really know how they're going to continue to do this because as ross the squirrel pointed out apex legends just had its lowest weekly player count since the end of 2021 meaning that apex legends isn't necessarily dying but it's definitely struggling right now compared to like pretty much any other year or season Season. And they're adding in a bunch of these new modes. They've even added in lockdown to mixtape. And I'm going to be honest, I don't think that there are that many lockdown enjoyers. I do think that Respawn should continue to focus on the Battle Royale. And instead of adding all these mixtape modes, maybe make some of the old LTMs permanent BR mixtape modes. I think that would actually make the player base very happy. I personally would love a casual playlist like pubs, but each one is a rotating like third person mode. Gold Rush duos, Dummies Big Day, and you can just go ahead and flip through them throughout the day. That would be so much more fun and engaging than just pubs, trios, and ranks. Some other cool news, though, coming from Titan, is that Arenas is looking to come back sooner than expected. Originally, the timeline of Arenas returning was 12 to 18 months, and it seems like it's going to be even sooner. And once again, he points out Respawn seems to be trying to implement more focus on mixtape modes to add more variety because they've seen a BR decline. And when Arenas comes back, it's gotten huge overhauls, such as the fact that there's a revive system very similar to Three Strikes, and it's all about objectives in Arenas now instead of the Valorant style they had, which is also going to be a huge clash with Apex Legends as Valorant is coming to console, in case you didn't hear. And as that's another hero shooter, it's going to directly compete with Apex Legends, especially on console. I do hope Apex Legends has a plan. I mean, don't get me wrong. We've definitely seen their store sales, like the most recent Galactic Sports Store. And we get that they're pushing cosmetics left and right. 
But with the player count being so low, they need to start infusing a lot more of these LTMs to give us something to do on a weekly basis. This is a live service game, and it's no wonder that the player base is dwindling because the only addition or new way to play the game this season is solos, and it's not necessarily a new way to play as it is a former LTM, but if you had rotating lists, like Dummies Big Day, Grand Soiree, and all those, you would have a much healthier game and a lot more people playing, in my personal opinion. Let me know down below, what are your guys' thoughts on Dummies Big Day making a return? What other LTMs would you like to see also come back? And also, don't forget to check out this channel right here by my editor, Novell, who does amazing Apex Legends and other types of content. Until next time, everyone, keep slaying the Outlands. See you out there.